Oh, hey, before we get started, if you like my videos, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe, like, comment on this video. It really helps out the channel a lot and it helps me to continue creating videos like this in the future. So thanks so much. Hello, YouTube world. I wanted to make a video real quick and give you an update on my Starlink system and just tell you the experience I've had with it over the past few weeks. I've had it set up and been using it as my main Wi-Fi for probably almost a month now. And I just wanted to tell you about my experience. So I got impatient and I put it in the yard on a pallet um, and I'll throw a photo up so you can see what that looked like. And so I got impatient and used it off of that while my mount kit was in route, which tip um, when you order your Starlink, make sure to order the roof mount or the adapter or whatever you need at the same time you order it because um, otherwise you're just going to wait forever. It took like a month to get here. Um, I couldn't do that though because at the time I ordered it, I didn't know what kind of a uh, amount I would need. We hadn't moved into the house yet, so I had to wait. But either way, it all arrived, and now I got it up on the roof. There was a pipe up there for an older dish, so I didn't need the mount I screwed in. I just used the adapter kit. I screwed it in all the way, and it stayed. It's sturdy. So this kit also came with some fasteners. I came, and I fastened it all the way down, and I threw all the extra cable into our cellar there. So. Uh, it's up there. It was pretty easy to install. You just screw it in, snaps on, it finds the satellites, unobstructed view of the northern sky, and there it is. And it's been pretty good. We had some gnarly wind the other day, 50 miles an hour, with 70 mile an hour gusts, and it stayed up there pretty darn good. Uh, and hail and rain and everything. So, like I said, I put all the extra wire in here, because this is where it goes into the house, and they gave you some silicon. Um, so I used the heck out of it, which be careful not to get it on your hands because it was on my hands for hours and on everything I touched. Um, so I might have to add a little bit more here to just completely weather seal it. But I already had a line going through here from previous internet service. So I used the cable routing kit, which I highly recommend you buy. It's a separate thing. Um, it comes with these little grommets and it comes with the silicon that comes with all the drill bits that you need. So it literally took me about five minutes or less to drill this and put it through. So let's jump inside and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So this is the inside. There's the other end of the grommet and the cable. And I threw some more silicon in there to help continue to keep it weather sealed from the outside. But that's it. The cable runs into the power supply here and it's still full of silicon from when I installed it like i said it got everywhere the power supply is plugged in i have a little bit of extra length that i gave myself in case i want to move it anywhere and then that runs to the router which is right here and that's it it's a super easy install you plug it in and it's on and it works um, speeds have been really good close to 200 megabytes per second um, when i'm kind of within sight of the router and the range on this thing is really good as well I have a, uh, a Nighthawk, a Netgear, something or other. Um, it was really good that I used in the past, but I honestly don't need to use that anymore. Surprisingly, this thing's reach is crazy. So I was out at the shed the other day and I still had Wi-Fi way out there. It's really good, really strong. There's not a single dead spot in the house throughout any of it. Um, so it's really good. So you have on the backside, an accessory plug so you can plug something in via ethernet and for that i did plug in this old router just so i have a 5g network for certain devices if they need that kind of a signal but honestly running internet through this from that on the 5g network is much slower um, it's a much slower speed much slower um, signal strength so just running natively off of that is fantastic and that's it. The whole thing is super easy to install. It literally took me probably less than an hour to put the dish up on the roof and get the wire through the wall and get it all plugged in and get it running. It was really quick, really easy. Um, but I would recommend a few things when you're going to install this. Number one is when you order your dish, if you can order the same, order the mount at the same time, whether that be like the volcano roof mount or the pipe adapter, um, just know what you have to attach it to and then order that same thing because it could take up to a month. Um, mine took a month to get here. So just kind of had to make do in the meantime, because what I didn't know is from the time you receive your Starlink kit, um, they'll, your billing cycle kicks in. So I had my Starlink internet 
uh, just sitting there waiting for the dish. And then a month later, they charged me a hundred bucks because I had it and I tried to fight it, but I couldn't. When you get your dish, you want to be using it right away. You don't want to just pay for it and not use it. So that's why I kind of set it up on the pallet in the yard to at least use what I was paying for for the time being. Um, so definitely order that. And then also order the cable routing kit if you are going to run it inside at all. Um, it just makes it so much easier than trying to guess what size things are and trying to fashion some kind of a grommet and weatherproof it. It's definitely worth the 20 bucks um, just to get it in the wall and make sure that you have it weather sealed and it's secured and everything works. It's fantastic. Um, but other than that, that's it. And the router I was a little skeptical of because of its size. I'm like, there's no way this thing is going to be able to have a decent reach throughout the house. But it did. Um, and it, it's been working fantastic. Like I say, our speeds are amazing, usually up to 200 megabytes per second within, um, within decent range of the router. So and as far as signal continuity goes, it will usually drop out. We'll lose signal maybe once or twice a day, a couple times a day um, for like a minute or so. And it'll usually kick back in. Sometimes I have to restart the dish, but that's not too hard through the app. Um, so that's to be expected. It's still in beta. They still have limited satellites up. So we do lose signal once or twice here and there. But honestly, it's a good trade off for the speeds that we get. Can't complain. 100 bucks a month. It's pretty decent um, out here in the sticks in the rural area where we live. Uh, the alternative was about 25 megabytes per second at about $75 a month, which was the best deal we could get. And we typically got around 10 megabytes per second for that. So extra, extra few dollars a month, but um, way faster speeds, totally worth it. So that's the Starlink setup. Highly recommend it for anybody that just is in a similar, similar situation like we're in, where you just have crummier internet at higher rates and you just need something extra. So highly recommend it. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.